The cardiac action potential is a brief change in voltage or membrane potential across the cell membrane of myocytes. This is brought on by the flow of charged ions through ion channel proteins. Unlike the action potential in skeletal muscle cells, the cardiac action potential is not initiated by nervous activity. Instead, it arises from a group of specialized cells known as the pacemaker cells that have automatic action potential generation capability. These cells are found in the sinoatrial node in the right atrium, and they produce roughly 60 to 100 action potentials every minute. The action potential in cardiac muscles are of two types. There is the action potential in the muscles of the atria, the ventricles, and in the Purkinje system. And then there is an action potential in the conducting cells of the SA node. As we know, action potentials are brief changes in membrane potential. When stimulated, different ions move across the membrane like sodium, potassium, and calcium in the case of cardiac muscle. At rest, the membrane potential is negative. When stimulated, the channels open and ions move along their electrochemical gradient and change the membrane potential. Inward current brings positive charge, usually sodium ions, into the cell and depolarizes the membrane. Outward current takes positive charge, usually potassium, out of the cell and repolarizes the membrane. The role of sodium-potassium ATPase is to maintain ionic gradients across the cell membranes. Let's start with discussing the phases of the cardiac action potential in the muscles of the ventricles and atria, as well as in the Purkinje system. Phase 0, the part shown in green on the graph, represents the upstroke of the action potential. It is caused by an increase in sodium conductance, that is an inward sodium current depolarizes the membrane. Phase 1, the part shown in pink on the graph, represents a brief period of initial repolarization. Initial repolarization is caused by an outward current of potassium ions and partly because of a decrease in sodium conductance. Phase 2, the part shown in red on the graph, represents the plateau of the action potential. It is caused by a transient increase in calcium conductance, which results in an inward calcium current. During phase 2, outward and inward currents are almost equal, so the membrane potential is stable. Phase 3, the part shown in blue on the graph, represents a period of repolarization. During this phase, calcium conductance decreases, and a high potassium conductance results in a large outward potassium current, which repolarizes the membrane back toward the potassium equilibrium potential. Phase 4, the part shown in purple on the graph, represents the resting membrane potential. It is the period during which inward and outward currents are equal, and the membrane potential approaches the potassium equilibrium potential, that is minus 90 millivolts. Let's take a look at what the absolute and relative refractory periods are. The absolute refractory period starts from the beginning of phase 0 until halfway through phase 3, and it is the phase during which it is impossible for the cell to produce another action potential. The relative refractory period starts from halfway through phase 3 till the end of phase 3. It is the phase during which a stronger than usual stimulus is required to produce another action potential. Now let's take a look at what the action potential in the SA node looks like. Phase 0, the part shown in red on the graph, represents the upstroke of action potential. It is caused by an increase in calcium conductance, which results in an inward calcium current. Phase 3, the part shown in pink on the graph, represents a period of repolarization. It is caused by an increase in potassium conductance, leading to an outward potassium current that causes repolarization of the membrane potential. Phase 4, the part shown in green on the graph, represents a period of slow depolarization. This accounts for the pacemaker activity of the SA node. It is caused by an increase in sodium conductance, resulting in an inward sodium current. 
It is to be noted here that phases 1 and 2 are not present in the SA node action potential.